Welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. Today is December 17, 2017. Puro 17. How I wish I look like 17. Current time, 10.48 a.m. I'm sitting on the floor. My maletas are out. And I'm starting to pack. I'm so excited! It's about my maletas. Actually, Brent and I's maletas. Kasi, isha-share ko to with Brent. This is the Wagon R. Hey, Ginger! No! Ginch! No, no, no. Back to what I'm saying, this is the Wagon R. Four-wheel, 29-inch aluminum trolley. Ito yung i-check-in namin. I know it does look like Remoa. Pero, hindi siya kasing mahal ng Remoa. This retails for, I think, estimate ko, less than 300 US dollars. Um, aluminum siya. Kaya, heavy duty and magaan. What I like about this, hindi siya yung zipper. Ito yung lock niya. Tatlong lock. May handle siya dito. Tap handle. And then, ito adjustable yung... I don't know what's this called. Pasensya na, hindi ko kabisado yung parts ng luggage. Ayan. And then, meron siya nito. Protective churva churva. Yeah. This is my Muji. Polycarbonate 24 inch carry on luggage. It has four wheels, kaya it's very easy to roll around the airport. Um, it has this feature here na pwede mong i-lock yung wheels para hindi siya kung saan saan pupunta. There. Ito yung adjustable pull out handle. Yun, tama. Yun yata yung tawag dun. Um, it has this top handle, side handle. Here's the zipper. Mukha namang heavy duty and the TSA lock. Approve. There. May dalawang keys na kasama. I forgot to mention. Ito rin. TSA din. Pero how I wish na pareho sila ng lock. Katulad nito. Aminado kasi ako na I'm a heavy packer. And I have this fear na baka bumukas yung zipper. Masira. And yung mga gamit ko magfly around siya. Mawalan ako ng gamit. Or worst, manakawan. Pero, nadala ko to before sa Hong Kong for a 5-day holiday. It was my birthday. Last year yon and lahat ng gamit ko, nandito siya. Nagkasya lahat, ah. Um, medyo mabigat siya nun, and okay naman yung zipper. Nasabi ko nga na mukhang heavy duty naman siya. Merong nabibili na parang belt. O kaya, para sure lang, yung pinapabalot nyo sa airport ng plastic... Alam nyo na, it's better to be paranoid than sorry. Directing flight namin, so from Kuwait to Manila, it will take us 9.5 hours. Ang baggage allowance namin for check-in is 32 kilos, while yung carry-on luggage is 7 kilos. Inside of my Wagon R check-in luggage, looks like it has two dividers. This has one big zipper compartment, perfect for storing your documents or anything flat that you could fit in. To reveal the first compartment, unhook these two straps. Here's the silver lining of my luggage and it has this, I think this is called belt or strap to protect your clothes or anything that you would put in to, from moving too much. And on the other side, this divider is removable by unsnapping this four buttons. This has two medium size zipper compartments, perfect for underwear or socks. While this one, it has this plastic lining that I think you could put toiletries in it. Here's the second compartment. Here's the lining and strap. These are the first few things that I pack in my luggage. As I said earlier, I just share ko yung luggage ko with Brent. Magagalit siya sa akin dahil pinakita ko yung underwear niya. So, these are his underwear. I brought eight. And then, this side are mine. I know, medyo madami siya. These are 10 underwear. On top, pambahay. And on the bottom, yung pang-alis. Bakit mas boring yung pang-alis? Dahil yung 
pang bahay may makakakita. <laughs> Alam niyo na. So for for my bra, black, nude, white, black, nude, white. That long strapless, that long may strap just in case, 'di ba? Mag strapless ako or mag sleeveless, hindi may, hindi makikita yung strap. And then dun sa pinaka ilalim, nilagay ko yung socks ko. Dalawang pang bahay, then siguro dalawang pang alis. Hindi naman kasi ako sure kung magka-close shoes ako sa Pilipinas. Alam nyo naman, mainit. And then, this side, yung socks ni Brent. Hindi na siguro ako magdadala ng toiletries kasi sa Pilipinas naman yon pwede naman akong bumili doon. Or, meron naman doon, sigurado. So, ayan. So, for what clothes to bring or how many clothes to bring on a short vacation. I'm so sorry guys, I cannot help you with that. As I've said, I'm a self-confessed heavy packer. Also, in addition to that, 64 kilos yung baggage allowance namin per passenger. Kanya-kanya talagang preference. Pero, ang mabibigay kong tip for those heavy packers like me, for the bottom half, place your heavy, thick, clothing materials like jeans, sweatshirt, jackets, or shoes. Um, and then on the upper half, place the clothes na mading malukot, yung mga maninipis, yung mga light clothing material. Kasi kung nandito yung mabibigat, you have a sturdy base. And then dun sa ibabaw, yung mga madaling malukot, hindi siya lalong maiipit. Okay? These are the clothes that I have finished packing so far. On the top row are our sleeping clothes. On the second are Brent's t-shirts. And then on the third are my clothes. And then on the last row are our trousers. As I've said earlier, on the bottom half should be your thick or heavy clothing materials. And then... On the top row are your light clothing materials. There. Put this divider back on. This part of the luggage is done. It's finished. And then on the other half, these are my eye makeup brushes. And then on this, pouch i have my contact lenses eye drops face mask mending kit hair pins and then these are those face wipes that when you put water on it will expand and then on this area we have hotel slippers um for house slippers and then these are the shoes that i'm going i'm going these are the shoes that I'm going to wear on on my niece's birthday. My Birkenstock jumpsuit that I haven't figured out how to fold it. So, I just put it here. Here are Q-tips, cotton pads, and cotton rounds. My niece's... <laughs> what do you call this? Fidget spinner. Um... My toiletries, hydrocortisone because sometimes I get flare ups. My um, Dior sunglasses, spare sunglasses, my bathina, um, chargers, my epilator and charger, my electric toothbrush and charger, my curling, I don't know what's this called, mirror curl. And then my son's Birkenstock. And now we're done.